Okay, been treating this sick hen for two days. This is the day three right now. She took herself way up the hill in a snowdrift the other day and got stranded up there and stayed up there a while. And uh, I had to go up and shovel a path and make her walk back down again through uh, probably knee-deep snow. Now, it maybe doesn't look as steep, but she was way out past that barn along a fence line. And that hillside is steeper than most staircases and probably about 300 yards or so straight up. So we came all the way down here, made her up a shelter, and locked her in for a couple of days. She got shots of long-acting penicillin and dexamethasone 5. And she'll get the same again later today. And uh, I was pouring food and electrolytes down her throat the last two days, but uh, I'm, she looked at the food. She hasn't eaten it yet. We'll see if she'll uh, have any or not. I may have to steer her back into the shelter and sit her down and put food into her again. I've got a bottle of warm electrolyte water in my pocket, too, that I'll pour down her throat while I'm here. So she's not going to be too happy with me, but it's uh, promising to see that she's still on her, on her feet again. So anyway, this is the one on the left here, number 173. Her sister's just here to keep her company, but you can see by the shape of her neck, she holds it in a... She's kind of got an extra curve going on right around the level of her tag that shouldn't be there. It's kind of an indicator that she's in less than perfect condition at the moment. So... Uh, but anyway, she is on the mend, so it's uh, promising. And I treated a rooster last year that was in even worse shape, and he came around. So anyway, um, her name is Myrtle. We're going to wish Myrtle all the best. And uh, I'll go back to pouring her food and water down her neck if she doesn't take it herself. <laughs> My helpful Maggie dog is uh, always along to see if I need any assistance. These girls grew up with the dog, so they're not scared of her. <laughs> they peck on her ears and her teeth and her belly and everything, so the dog isn't scared of them either. Anyway, okay, that's it for now. Myrtle, if you're not going to eat, I have to help you. Mm -hmm. And uh, your sister Ruthie is going to eat your breakfast on you if you don't get at it. <laughs>